I've been making a series of videos that allows me to delve heavily into the Scream franchise to bring you guys some of the removed, deleted and alternate scenes that didn't manage to make it to theatres. Most of this information is taken from original scripts, drafts and interviews with cast and crew who worked on the movie. So far I've done four different videos showcasing some aspects of the movies that were changed before the movies hit theatres. To make sure you don't miss out on this awesome Scream trivia be sure to hit subscribe and make sure you sign up for notifications so you don't miss a single update. In today's episode we're going to be heading back to Scream 1996. Now, this movie had a lot of changes, even before this draft came to light. Many things were removed and edited, but the original draft actually helps us understand how certain scenes were intended to flow. During the midsection of the movie, there was a deleted scene involving Billy and Stu, which actually gave us some insight into their relationship, but also explained why they were present in one certain scene. As we know by now, Billy and Stu were the killers in Scream 1996, and I believe this scene does well in hinting at that. The cutscene also gives us context to several lines later in the movie. One is a comment that Randy made towards Stu during their chat in the video store. You know the part where Randy says, you're such a little lap dog. The second is a line in the climax when Stu and Sydney were talking on the phone after the killer reveal. This scene was actually filmed, but didn't see the light of day due to pacing issues apparently. But there's also a rumour that Wes Craven believed it gave away Billy and Stu were the killers early on. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this scene involving Billy and Stu. Stu is moving along Main Street when Billy comes barreling up next to him. Billy, how'd you do? Stu, piece of cake, she'll be there. Billy, thanks but what, you did good. Stu, so, you gonna try and make up with Sid? Billy, duh, that's quick. Stu, I was just asking, why are you always at me? Billy, because I'm trying to build your self esteem, you're far too sensitive. Stu, oh. Billy thumbs Stu's forehead. Billy, you ready to party hard tonight? Stu, you know it. They come to a building centrally located in the heart of Main Street. A huge blue monstrosity that's bigger than the local bank and post office combined. The sign in front reads, Blockbuster. So, the main takeaway from this is that it highlights just how whipped by Billy Stu really was. Stu suggesting the party at his house as school is ending was all set up by Billy himself. What's more, the popular peer pressure and far too sensitive line from Stu actually wasn't a line that he came up with himself. That specific line was something that Billy invented to mock Stu. The whole cutscene just highlights how much of an influence Billy had over Stu. Despite Stu's popularity as a ghost face, majority of his actions and behaviour were literally just to follow and copy Billy at most times. Now, I can see why this was cut. At the end of the day, it doesn't add a whole lot to the movie. It's very brief, and seeing as they're both killers, it makes little sense that they'd casually talk here without bringing up their overall plan. After all, they were alone. But what did you guys think of this scene? Is it worth being cut? Would you have kept it in? Share your thoughts below. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss out on more Scream trivia from the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and look out for more great Scream content on the way.